Hi guys, I just wanted to go over what we did in our office hours today. So we did the assignment for today, which if you look at the calendar, it is the position time graphs. So I'm going to scroll down to module seven and I'm going to look at this assignment right here. So this is the seven four moving man assignment. If you click on this, you'll see in the directions, it says click on the link to take you to the simulation. So you'll click this link and it takes you to this simulation, which um, can take a while to load. So just be patient if it doesn't load right away. If you can't make the live office hours, you can watch the video and complete the assignment on this Google Doc, which is what I'm going to do right now. So when you click on the Google Doc, you want to click make a copy. And here is your assignment. So again, the link is posted right here if you need that. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this complete sentences. We don't need to do that. Um, but it says, describe the motion of the man when you play the simulation, starting with the conditions below. Some helpful phrases to use are to the right, to the left, comes to a stop, slows down, speeds up, starts, and at rest or constant speed. So what we're going to do is in the simulation, we are going to set our position at these different points and our velocity at these different points and then hit play. And when we do, we're gonna describe the motion that we see. So for example, on the first one, it says position zero, velocity one. So we'll go to the simulation, we leave the position at zero and we put the velocity at one and then I hit play. And I can see that the man is walking to the right, moving at a constant speed. Okay, so I can pause that. And if I go back to the Google doc, that's what I wanna type. So I wanna type constant speed to the right and slow. can't type there and then the next one says to put the position at negative 10 meters and the velocity at 5 meters per second so I'm going to put this at negative 10 and I'm going to put the velocity at 5 let me make sure I have those numbers right negative 10 and 5 negative 10 and 5 and then I'm going to hit play so I can see he's moving faster, still moving to the right, and velocity is positive. So if I go back, it's still constant speed to the right, but this time it is fast. Now I'm going to put the position at 8 meters and the velocity at 0, and I'm going to hit play. Okay, so now time is still passing, but the man is not moving, and that's because the velocity or the speed is zero. So that indicates no motion, no motion. Now we're gonna have a negative position and a negative velocity. So negative four and negative two. So negative four and negative two. We hit play. Okay, so now I see he's moving in the opposite direction, still at a constant speed. So it's constant speed. It's kind of slow, um, but it's to the left. And now the last one is negative nine for position and 2.5 meters per second for velocity. So we're gonna do negative nine and 2.5 for velocity and we're gonna hit play. Okay, so we are moving to the right at a constant speed. So moving to the right at a constant speed. Um, and I'm not going to put slow or fast for this one because it's kind of in the middle. And then go ahead and highlight your answers. Okay. Now describe the motion when velocity is zero. So if the velocity is zero, that means the speed is zero. That means there is no motion. A positive velocity moves to the right. A negative velocity moves to the left. 
All right, now what we're going to do is switch to the charts tab at the top left of the screen and just kind of play around with the different positions and velocities. And then when you're ready, you're going to answer the following questions. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to this. So if we are looking at the charts now, and this one has already been preset um, and we have a given graph. Now we are only looking at the position time graph. We are not looking at the red graph. We're not looking at the green. So we are ignoring the velocity and acceleration graphs. So let's just focus on this position time graph. So from zero to two seconds. So that's from here to here. So from here to here, what is happening? Well, I can see this is a diagonal line pointing upwards. And what that means and what that tells me is that it is a constant speed to the right. From two to six seconds, that's from here to here, I can see that this line is just a horizontal line, which means that time is still changing, but the distance isn't. So that means no motion. And then finally, from six seconds down to 10 seconds, I can see that this is another constant speed, but in the opposite direction. All right, guys, and that is the assignment. Um, so if you go up to the top and you want to make sure that you click share and make sure that you share this assignment with me, that way I can grade it. And then all you have to do after that is go to Buzz, scroll down, and submit that Google Doc. All right, bye, guys.